kind of passed as my natural hair. Kind of. A little bit. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming again. Um, you know, I was kind of on a streak and I thought I was going to continue that streak. And then here came a sickness out of nowhere. I thought it was Corona, girl. I was a little nervous. But I think I just had like a cold or a sinus infection. I don't know. I still kind of have it. So I'm sorry if I sound super annoying in this video and nasally and congested because I still am a little bit. But I'm feeling so much better. So thank you guys so much for your well wishes and prayers via Instagram. Um, so yeah, today we are going to finish up. Well, we still have, I think, two, three more videos. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I installed this beautiful unit, which is so, ah, look, like, y'all know I struggle with baby hairs, but like, I think I kinda did a good job today. Look at her, she is so pretty, and I feel like this kinda gives me throwback OMG It's Lindsay vibes. I always used to wear 24 inches clip and extensions, so I kinda feel like old me again. <laughs> so if you guys wanna know how I achieved this look right here, which is a pretty basic, everyday, style that you can rock with everything literally um just keep on watching also banks is over there knowing he's in trouble i took banks downstairs and he decided to piss by the laundry room i said oh okay bold of you so let's go clean that up and then we came back upstairs and he decided to take a sh on the doormat we had just come from outside. All right, let's get into the tutorial. So today's unit is from So Good Hair. This is what the box looks like. And as usual, I have all the links in the description box below, along with the details of this wig in particular. Now I must say, this hair really lives up to its name because this hair is so good, girl. So I knew with this unit, I wanted to do a middle part. I just knew it. I'm sure it would look bomb with the side part too because you can part this hair any which way you want to. Um, but I decided today we are going to do a middle part. Now, a lot of times with wigs, um, you'll notice they kind of have humps up here at the top. And I was like, we got to get rid of that because I want it to be sleek. I want it to lay as flat as it can on my head. So just a little trick that you can do if you are experiencing, experiencing humps in the hair or in the wig, you just need to wet it and let it dry again. I like to use three things kind of in rotation. I use a spray bottle. I also use some mousse. This is the Chesame one you guys have seen everywhere. And another product you've seen everywhere is the Whey Wave Spray. So I like using these three in rotation. You don't wanna just do it straight on top because what's making the hump is all the hairs under here as well. Excuse me. So just doing one side at a time. I like to go in with my spray bottle first and just psh, psh, psh. Then I go in with a little bit of mousse. I say a little bit and a lot kept coming out. So you don't need this much, but like, Ah, we still made it work. Some mousse and a little bit of the Way Wave Spray. And I just use my comb to flatten everything out. Once you do that section, you just go up little by little. Now you can dry it section by section. That'll probably make it even more sleek, but I didn't. Um, I feel like with this Wave Spray, it kind of just holds everything together anyway. So I didn't really feel the need to, but if you want, so go ahead, girl. Once I got up to the part itself, that's when I used the blow dryer. Now you can definitely do it section by section, like I said, but even in just doing the method I did, you can see how straight I was able to get it to lay. Next for styling a majority of the hair, I just went in with my hair primer and again with some more of the Way Wave Spray. And I sprayed that all over the hair before just straightening it nothing special and for the first time I did not trim this unit now I really love the hairline on this unit but the baby hairs themselves were just a little too long so I went in with my little razor my little face razor is it over here you guys have seen it before the little face razor and razor down those baby hairs because I do not need them that long and I do not need them that thick if you want them that thick and long go ahead girl but I did not I didn't need that. Now for actually installing it on my head, I did not do uh, my makeup yet. I had just done my brows and my skin has been peeling and like super dry. So if you see my face looking a little ashy, it was from the primer. It like dried up. And <laughs> it was a mess. Okay, anyway. So as for prepping my natural hair, you guys know I never really do anything special. I rarely wear wig caps. So same thing today. I went ahead and just did a low braid and Bobby pinned it up. Um, but I also did take a little bit of mousse and laid, lay down my hair a little bit. So, and that was more just so that I'm not having any of my own hairs or flyaways or baby hairs coming up out from under the wig. So that was the only purpose of doing that. Obviously it's not super, super flat and making the, the, um, 
wig lay flat or anything like that. I was just trying to get hairs out the way. So that's what we did. And then I went ahead and plopped the unit on. Now, first I wanted to make sure I lined up the sides by my ears because normally, well, I used to not do this at all. I used to just be like, well, this is how the wig is. So this is how we're going to wear it. And then I'm like, girl, you can customize it and cut it off, which is what you're supposed to do. I just never really cared to do it. I, I didn't care enough to be honest. And next I just went in with my got to be spray and sprayed it all down. And lastly was for these baby hairs. You already know Lovely Bees Edge Control. I loved using this one and I love it too. I don't know if I've ever said this is that it doesn't hold together super super fast. So if you're wanting something that like molds really fast and then hardens really quickly, this isn't the one you're gonna want, but I like that because if you do need to make changes or switch things up later while you're doing like the other side or whatever, it, you still have room to do that and it hasn't hardened and dried up already. So that's just one of the many reasons why I love that edge control so much. So like I said, I just went in with the baby hairs, did a couple swoops on each side and I think it came out looking really bomb for me. You know, I'm still not an expert with baby hairs, but you know, we've been looking kind of tragic in previous videos of what my baby hairs were looking like. And then just for final touch-ups, I just went in and straightened any pieces that creased a little bit or anything from the clips that I had in my hair. But that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I do have all of So Good Hair's links and socials in the description box, so be sure to check that out. I've also got all the specs on this unit right here. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification. I am feeling good, so more videos to come. I hope you guys are doing well and feeling well and washing your hands and protecting yourself, okay? I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.